guys, my name is Steph and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do this um, kind of like a review of this Foxy Bay um, a straighten brush. So I got the, I bought this brush, um, I saw it actually first on Instagram and it seemed kind of cool because it was a brush that straightens your hair and my hair is very um, thick, curly and very frizzy. So I thought like, oh, it seems like more simple than a straightener. So I was like, okay, let's see. So I always check the prices first. And when I went to the website, I first saw that they had, I guess, it was like 120 something or 140 something. But they were on sale for like 80 something. And then they had a 45% coupon because it was on Black Friday week. Uh, Cyber Week, so it came out in total $53. So it came pretty fast. I live in California, so it came within the week. And this is how the box looks like. It's very pretty, it's very sturdy. And because I'm not sure if this is gonna work, and if it is not gonna work, then I don't wanna keep it. Um, you also get this hair ties, they gave me this three hair ties. Um, and the uh, invoice and that was it and then when you open up the brush I have not used this yet it looks like this this is pretty heavy it feels pretty heavy um, I have not used this yet because I want to try it out in a video and see how it actually works if it works good or not and then you get a little pouch where you can just like and clip so you can do your hair and uh, gloves so you can protect your hand and I believe this goes up to 360 I haven't really seen I haven't seen I haven't really seen these brushes until I bought this brush I've seen so many brushes out there that they were like the same but um, I didn't find that many reviews it was mostly about youtubers that I found the reviews so I wanted to see if it actually works if nothing I'm just gonna return it um, and maybe just keep using my straightener so I'm actually gonna do half of my hair with the strainer and half with of my hair with the brush and see which one works faster and does a better job than the other one and we'll see how it works out so if you guys want to see how uh which one works better just please keep on watching so it looks like this as you can see it's very nice it looks kind of like the nars kind of packaging very velvety and the brushes and the brushes, the bristles, they're very stiff. And then you have here, you can see how much of temperature you're putting in. And here the button plus and up, minus uh, to make it higher or lower the temperature and the button to turn it on. I decided to put it on 450, which is the maximum. I know it might be a little too much but sometimes I like to do that just so I can do it faster I might put it down like later on because sometimes I feel like because it's thick my hair it the lower the temperature it the longer it takes and the freezier it's gonna take it's gonna be so that's why and right now it's just heating up so it's just going up the numbers until it gets to a number that I want it to be You can kind of feel like the top is getting hot but the bottom is not so we'll brush our hair because we don't want any knots and as you can see my hair is really really frizzy
you can see this part still puffy still I can still see many bumps and here on the crown of my head and I see my hair puffy like in the inside like this is not if I go out to the street like this is gonna be like I feel like I half did my hair so we'll try it with my straightener in the other side and see what's the difference I don't even know if this gloves were very <sighs> itchy uh, I'm not liking that that brush So as you can see the difference, this part I did it with the straightener, this part I did it with the brush. This part is frizzy, it looks dry, it's not straightened well. This part looks softer, straight, and I have a little static, but it looks much, much better, the straightener, than the brush. This is a lie. Oh my god, I'm I'm so returning that brush because fifty dollars was not worth it. And if you don't have the coupon, it's even more expensive than that. And I saw some YouTubers doing the Instagram thing and say saying it's working and blah blah. Like I love I love Sarah E. I think she's an Instagram and YouTuber and other YouTubers I saw doing videos with these and I thought they were gonna work. Um but no like i they i mean there were not that many reviews either there were only like her review i think and let me tell you this brush sucks so please i'm really sorry it's not really a bashing video or anything i really wanted to work because i really thought this brush was gonna be what it actually supposed to be a straightener brush i just got really mad that I lit my hair like this and I was so excited to do it with this brush and now it's like oh wow it didn't work so now I have to call customer service and return this immediately because it's just a product that did not work for my hair at least not for my type of hair I don't know for other types of hair but for my type of hair it just looks horrible I would not go out to the street like this with this type of hair. Um, and you can see clearly the difference. Frizzy, flat. Frizzy, flat. <sighs> well, I hope you guys, like, I hope this video um, helped you see if they actually, if this brush actually works or not. Because uh, for me, it's just, it did not work. It's, it's a total mess and... I'm so disappointed. But uh, thank you for watching uh, again this um, video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.